What's going on YouTube? Mike here with another video and today I want to do an unboxing of the iPhone SE 2020. So let's get to it. All right, so here we go. I generally don't do unboxings, but I kind of want to do this because I haven't owned an iPhone for quite a while and this phone is actually in pretty good demand. So this is the 2020 iPhone SE. Just got it in the mail. So let's crack this open and see what we got. So this is actually the first iPhone that I've had for over a year. And this would actually be the smallest iPhone I've owned um, for a long time. Not since like the iPhone 2. <clears throat> so we'll set that aside. And here we go. I ordered the product red, which now if you didn't know, the its proceeds generally would go to uh, HIV research but now they're actually taking the money and putting it toward COVID-19. Let's crack this thing open <clears throat> and I went with the 128 gigabyte model so here you go it looks just like an iPhone 8 because it essentially is an iPhone 8 but let's see what we got inside because this will be the first product red item I've ever bought so I don't know if you get anything special uh, looks like the packaging is red it would be cool if there was red stickers, but nope, you get your typical white stickers, <clears throat> SIM card tool, and your quick start guide. So we'll set this off to the side, and here's the actual iPhone. So we'll set this here. So in the box also, you get the crappy tiny little brick, but this will support fast charging if you've got a larger power supply. And then you get the good old earbuds. Uh, these plug into the bottom because there is actually no headphone jack anymore. And then, of course, you get a lightning cable. So let's crack open the phone here. There we go. All right. So first impressions of this thing is it is small, but... It definitely feels good in the hand. Like I said, this is the first product red I've ever owned. So to me, it looks pretty nice. I like how the aluminum is red as well as the glass back. So, oh, and there is the good old fashioned fingerprint scanner home button, which I've not had forever. So it's kind of just looked kind of odd having it. So let's see if this thing's got any juice in it. There we go. It's powering up. So if you've ever owned, obviously, an iPhone 8, you know, it's just got your mute switch on the side still your volume up and down your home button power button and then your speakers are on the bottom along with your lightning adapter so there you go and first <laughs> impression of this is you know 2010 called said they want their bezels back so it has definitely got some big bezels but um i do really like how it feels in the hand so it's going to take a little while to get used to having a phone this small again, but basically I'm going to try this out for about a week so I can really get a good grasp of the battery life and camera, and then I'll do a full review video. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and also hit the notification bell down below so you know when I actually post this video. But initial thoughts are um, it is definitely thin and light. It feels nice in the hand. I really like the color, but the main things I'm curious about is Camera performance, specifically video, and then the battery. Every iPhone I've ever owned that's been the normal size or smaller size, I've never really been able to make it to the full day without having to top up. So that will be the test for me, and I'll be curious to see how the battery is on this thing. So with that, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you got any questions, just post it in the comments below. Anything you want me to test on this phone, then just put it in the comments, and I'll do my best. So see you later.